and I received my first question from the New Year's resolution post that I want to tackle. As an athletic development coach here at my facility, I don't talk a lot about arm size. However, I know as someone who puts out YouTube videos, I'm going to have to get on this topic. So I'm going to do it once, do it right, and I'm going to explain how to get hypertrophy or muscle growth in your arm. This question came from Mike, and he was looking specifically for bicep. However, your life's going to be a lot easier if you focus on all five areas of the upper arm. All right, biceps, one, two muscle groups. Your triceps, one, two, th three muscle groups. Try three by two. So you have a total of five areas. A lot of people just want to pump up that bicep, and they'll just try to grow the arm up this way, as opposed to growing it 360 all the way around and actually getting a bigger arm. So avoid that mistake of just focusing on one or the other size. To achieve hypertrophy, I want you to split your training sessions into two different modes. Number one, heavy. Number two, volume. Those are the two you're really going to concentrate on to get some, some good growth and muscle you can actually uh, use and have some performance out of. So on our heavy day for your bicep or your tricep, you're going to do something like a close grip bench, a weighted chin up, uh, maybe a weighted dip if you have healthy shoulders and elbows and you can do good dips. Uh, maybe a close push up with some chains or some weight on your back if you can't. Those are the ones you're going to do. You're going to do five to eight sets of five to ten reps. This is your accessory training. So start out with your primary lift. You should start out with your bench or your clean or whatever it is. Near the end of the workout, you're going to work in these heavier sets uh, just for the arm. On the second day, when you're doing your volume day, you're going to utilize some drop sets, some rest pause. You're going to get a lot of reps in, but they're going to be less compound exercises. They're going to be less weighted. So you're going to get uh, a higher time under tension for the muscles. For the triceps, I like simple tricep extension. I like body weight extensions on TRX strap if you have those. If you don't, cable's fine. I like drop sets with cable pushdowns. Getting a lot of volume in, we're talking three to five sets of about 20 reps each. Really getting some good volume in. For your biceps, I like thick bar curls. So I like to incorporate the forearms as well. Hammer curls, dumbbell curls. I mean, you know your basic bicep exercises. You're going to make sure you're switching between high volume low volume, allowing for some recovery, and stay consistent with whatever you decide. Don't start bouncing around all the exercises. Choose something, stick with it for a few weeks. For both, the volume and the heavy days. Choose and stick. Something that my strength coach in high school gave us, and he was a very good strength coach, played football at the University of Alabama, is that he would have us lay down and we'd do skull crushers for about 15 reps, and then we'd quick take the bar over and do go right into close grip bench press with the same bar for as many reps as we could. And after we'd go over and we'd start hitting those reps, he'd start leaning on the bar. So he'd stop. He'd, like, he'd tell us, oh, no, it's too fast. It must be too light. And he'd lean on the bar, and it would stop you. And then you'd have to try to start it going again, and then he'd lean on it. Uh, whatever it is on your volume day, make sure you get those reps in there. Uh, have a good time with it. Make sure you're recovering. Make sure you're doing your self-myofascial release so you don't get elbow pain. Thank you for watching. If you have another strength question, training question, post it below. And make sure to like this video. Uh, the more likes I get, so I'm gonna sp the more time I'm going to de devote to making these videos for you. Thanks for watching.